Okay, Elliot Hamilton of the Daily Wire, whom you can follow at Elliot Two L Two T's R Hams, uh, is coming on tomorrow at longer length. But he mentioned to me today that uh, it's the 200th birthday of Henry David Thoreau. And uh, look, I said, hey, can you talk about that for like two minutes today? And he said, yeah. So here he is. Hey, everyone. So today is the 200th birthday of Henry David Thoreau, who was a transcendentalist thinker back in the 1800s. And he's famous for the for the book Walden, which talked about his time living in Walden Pond, right from Concord, Massachusetts. I've been there many times myself. And what's so significant about Henry David Thoreau to me is that he wrote, a, he wrote an essay titled Civil Disobedience. And this is the one thing that a lot of people don't realize, especially on the left, who claim that they care about civil disobedience, standing up to the government, etc., is that when civil disobedience was written, it was in 1849, and it was regarding a little tax or a little fee that Thoreau thought was unjust, and he was thrown in prison because, or in jail for a while because he didn't pay this tax. And what he said in civil disobedience generally was that it is moral and just for the individual to be true to himself and to their values, especially when society and when the government is capable of being corrupted and may actually commit injustice. Now, think back to the time around the 1840s. Slavery was still happening in the South. There was a big debate going on at the time as to abolish slavery. And he understood that big government that imposed its will on the people, and in certain cases, the people who were enslaved, actually makes the government less able to do good and more able to do evil. This is a, in my opinion, this is a conservative idea. It's, Great point. Us conservatives and libertarians ultimately believe that limited government is the best way to protect our freedoms. The founding fathers created a constitution in order to protect liberty and freedom, and the structure of government was there to ensure that. And in any case that the government extended its power, in the same way Thoreau saw it, would be a moment in which the individualism of every man could be jeopardized, and same with their liberties and their freedom. So, in honor of, in honor of David, Henry David Thoreau's birthday, I think that every single individual today should read the essay, Civil Disobedience from 1849, honor the great man who probably will look mm -hmm. highly upon conservatism and libertarianism today, and most certainly detest how the left has used his words to justify fake intrusive government and leftist policies. That's all I have for you, everybody. Great, even though it doesn't sound like it's a, quite as peaceful as it was for Henry David Thoreau at Walden, but happy 200th birthday uh, of Henry David Thoreau, Elliot Hamilton, uh, whom, again, people can follow at uh, Elliot or hams, and Elliot is with two L's and two T's, and Elliot will talk to you more tomorrow. Yes, I will. Thank you so much, Adam.